Hello and welcome to Let's Make This. This will be my first uh, real introduction to the Let's Make This YouTube channel. And this one is going to be selfie style because I want to show you my shop. Uh, I'll see if there's a way to turn this around. But I'm going to walk around the shop for a minute and show you a few things so that uh, you have a better idea of who I am and what I do. A lot of you know me from Harrelson Trumpets because I've been building trumpets for the last 20 years. And um, that is what I do, but I've also been an inventor. I've created a lot of other things that most of you don't know about, and hundreds of prototypes, lots of things that were never related to musical instruments. And some of those I will be pursuing as actual products and services in the future. So, so I want, <coughs> excuse me, I want to share some of that with you as well. And uh, I want to show you around the shop. Uh, let's make this. The whole idea is that we are making something. We are uh, taking an idea, creating a napkin sketch, thinking of how that item could be used in real life and how it could uh, help your life or help a process and motivate uh, someone to do something in a quicker, simpler, easier, more productive way. I'm always looking for solutions like that. And uh, let's make this was titled uh, like that because it should be let's make this dot 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 and then we fill in the blank what are we gonna make today and I want to show you how I've made lots of different things over the years as well as how to make something new so we will have uh, episodes where I take your suggestions and recommendations and then I make something that you would like to uh, to see in the world and that could really be anything um, I should say a little bit about making things. A lot of the things that I've made over the years were made by hand, uh, with simple hand tools. Sometimes they were made out of metal or wood or plastic. Uh, sometimes I use things that are off the shelf, like bolts and nuts and springs and uh, whatever I can find. Sometimes I'll incorporate electronics. So you'll see some of that as well. And. Um, Really, the idea is just to make new things and to share uh, really the excitement of inventing with all of you and so we can share it with each other and share ideas. So uh, some of the things that are on my list include special fasteners to make your life a lot easier in terms of uh, being able to connect things to each other. Sounds kind of vague, but you'll see what I mean in the future. Some of the things that we'll make are musical instruments. I will show you how I make different components on trumpets. Why? Well, because a lot of you would love to see how we do that. And we're the most advanced uh, musical instrument manufacturing company in the world. I say that with confidence because we do things differently. We don't use 16th, 17th, 18th century techniques um, to make brass instruments. And uh, we use modern techniques and modern design. So you will see some of that. Um, and you'll see some of the real custom things uh, on the trumpets and some of the newer instruments like the Bravura flugelhorn. We will also make things uh, out of uh, plastic and we will be using 3D printers. Uh, we will be using a 3D printer that prints with carbon fiber thread in a base of nylon and it can also do fiberglass and it can do Kevlar and then we'll also be using other types of 3D printing and we may even send some things out to have laser sintering done in stainless steel or titanium or other materials and we will combine all of those a lot of the prototypes that I make will be available on the let's make this website and I will sell some of the prototypes because it's fun it's cool it's nice to see something that we was used right here on the YouTube show uh, the momentum Kickstarter campaign that I ran in May and June of 2016, earlier this year. Um, that, I will feature how we make all the components for that. I will explain in depth how and why I came up with that design, and uh, really how I got from the beginning to the end of that product cycle, um, or I should say the development cycle, and where it's going from there. Um, the Momentum Spinning Top is actually just the first phase of about five different development steps uh, for an energy device that's completely solar that powers your home. 
So momentum is actually just one tiny piece of that system, uh, but it's one of the most crucial pieces. So we will be doing all of that. I'm going to walk around the shop quickly, show you a few things, and uh, then we'll just move on to the next episode. So first, since I'm doing this kind of backwards, this is my CNC lathe, and let's see if I have the lights. I'll plug the lights in so we can really see inside there. So I'm back here by my air compressor and my trusty fan. I'll show you the air compressor first. So back here behind me is my five horsepower rotary air compressor. It's a great little setup. And here is my CNC lathe. And now we can see inside it, there are quite a few tools on this machine. Typically between 20 and 26 tools. It has a full sub spindle, main spindle. Um, it does up to one and five eighths inch diameter. And I'm looking at buying a new CNC lathe from the same company uh, by the end of the year. So we'll see what happens there. And you can see here's one of my programs. I write all of my lathe code myself. So everything you see here is my own work. I don't use cam systems for the lathe. Um, some of you may think that's crazy, but I have more control over what I do that way. And believe it or not, I can be very fast with it because I've been writing code for a long time. Next, we will look at the Herco VMC, which is this machine right here. I'll turn it on. And it's telling me I don't have enough air pressure to run it. Not completely true. We're going to push warm up and let that thing warm up. And we'll plug in the lights for that too. Uh, a lot of the things that I'll be sharing with you are tips and tricks that I've learned in machining and in making. And uh, real quickly, uh, I'll show you one thing. There's a lot of light inside this milling machine. And that's because I installed my own lights. And they're uh, really efficient LED waterproof lights. Uh, little things like that. The same with the lathe. It has special LED lights in it. These are actually just motion sensor lights that you would find for your garage. So I'll show you some projects like that as well. I like lighting on what I'm, I like to see what I'm doing. So um, I have lights everywhere. I can always turn them off. I have remote controls for most of them. Um, but yeah, I want to show you around a little bit. Over here we have lots of trumpet parts. We have an engine hoist. We have a metal stamping uh, roll press down there. And another air compressor. I have like four air compressors because you never know where you might need one and where you might have to plug it in. Lots and lots of trumpet bells, of course. I have literally thousands of hand tools and you will get to see those little by little over time. Here are some rotary tools. Um, this is a power hand. Most of you have never seen anything like that. And I'll explain that. And that is actually what powers this. Uh, but we use power hands here all the time. I think I have four of those. Um, so it's like 1500 bucks for one of those things. But man, they save us a lot of time. All kinds of spring clips and things. And I have bins and drawers and things filled with parts all over the shop. So you can see a few things here. It will take me years to show you everything that I have. And uh, I tell you that because if you're serious about inventing and creating, then you better start building your tool collection now. Uh, every tool has a purpose, and I truly believe you should use the right tool for the job. Hence, I have more tools than I ever imagined even exist. I was adding up the other day, and I think I have something like 14 toolboxes of various uh, types so and then over here is some of our bar stock some of its flat down on the bottom and uh, Of course, I'm using it to store other things as well over here. We have a flat lap We have a Sherline lathe Of course another toolbox lots of tools in there This is a really cool tool This would be uh, used to shape stones so we make our own inlays here, and we shape them. 
here is a lapidary setup and we just bought a brand new lapidary setup with some of the Kickstarter funds that we received recently. Um, so we got all new lapidary tools because our old ones were really worn out. You can see some of the inlays that we are recutting or cutting from scratch sometimes. We have thousands and thousands of different inlays. So we have a lot of options. Fordite. I don't know if you've ever seen Fordite, but that's some pretty cool stuff. Came right out of the Ford plant. This is uh, what's left over when they were painting over the years. Uh, lots of stones. And when I say a lot of stones, I mean a lot. And actually, we have two of these toolboxes full of inlays. Um, we have Oscar. Oscar, wake up. So we have Oscar. He's our shop dog. He's a Chihuahua, Yorkie mix. You'll see Oscar from time to time. Uh, we have a lot of CAD and CAM systems. Uh, we actually use a few different ones because we've upgraded over the years and we find that there are advantages to, to various options. So there's a quick tour of the shop. I should say we actually have a whole nother shop and uh, it's a couple doors down in the same building and I will show you that in one of the next episodes. So welcome to Let's Make This. And uh, today, uh, we're not really making anything special, we're just doing pallets. I won't have time to show you that in this video, but I will have a Pearson work holding speed change pallet system video, or a series of videos, uh, released soon so you can see what I'm doing the rest of the day.